Welcome to Video Wombat Studio. Today we'll field test the road blimp. So let's go outside and do it. We're now outside set up as you would be for an interview. I have the dead wombat on which is to reduce the wind uh, noise. Um, the wind is coming and going, as you can probably see by the movement of the bushes in the background. We will be changing during the reading from with the dead wombat to just the bare blimp, then with the blimp off and just the uh, NTG2 with the foam windsock on it and then just the beer NTG2 just to compare the difference. I will be doing a reading from Colleen McCulloch's uh, book The First Man in Rome which is from her Roman series. Marius with Sulla's help has just defeated the Germans. <laughs> By noon, the fighting men of the Simbrai were no more. 80,000 fell on the field, including Boyerix. The rest fled to warn the women and the children in the wagons and take what they could across the Alps. But 50,000 wagons couldn't be driven away at a gallop, nor half a million cattle and horses mustered in an hour or two. Those closest to the alpine passes of the Vale of Selassie escaped. The rest did not. Many of the women rejected the thought of captivity and killed themselves and the children. Some of the women killed the fleeing warriors as well. Even so, 60,000 live Simbric women and children were sold to the slavers, as were 20,000 warriors. This is how we had the uh, microphone set up during the filming. This is the basic setup, stripped down to its bare bones. Microphones up here, onto the hand grip, and the Rode Link new shooter transmitter is screwed into the handle down here, which is connected by this cord. That concludes our look at the road blimp. It was a pretty basic look, but then I'm a pretty basic filmmaker, self-taught and all that. If you enjoyed it, give us the old uh, thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, either keep an eye on my channel or website or subscribe.